It's Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so you've seen, you've seen me and Robert rebuild this pump. Here he comes down. What's up, man? Cool. How you doing? All right, so now we're at the stage where we have the stator armature removed from the housing. Okay, the rotor, I mean. The rotor removed from the stator. Okay, so the armature. So what you want to do is get a nut driver. This time we have the right nut driver, right? Not right. like the other videos where I was like, oh my God, wrong nut driver. You want to loosen this center screw here. You can see with the nut driver. And put your finger in the back here. And what that does is a little bearing retainer back here that holds the ball bearing. So you want to loosen this nut right here. Okay, and then you have this little piece that will slide right out here like so with your finger. And then a little bolt that comes right here. Okay, so take that, put that in the box. And then you want to remove your water sling. Just like there, there's a little rubber washer that's supposed to protect the bearings and the seal goes. Sometimes it does not work. Okay, so once you do that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to tap this end bell down like this to so get the bearing out. So you can the taps here and there. And pretty soon. You see. Now tap it gently. You tap it gently, you don't wanna go bam, because if you do that, what's gonna happen, man? It's gonna break. You're gonna break it. And actually, I've seen some dude on YouTube that was doing that. He was like, yeah, oh, man, it takes enough power. But he was like, Psh. he was like, well, I reckon I got another one in the shed. And I was like, oh, dude, that's not professional. But whatever. <laughs> Dave is me copying the guy. But hey, it's funny, right? So you may want to basically just keep tapping this thing down. Okay, you can see your bearing is starting to come out now. If you notice that. Ooh, it fell through the hole there. All right? That's pretty funny. All right, so tap this out. And there you go. Now you can see that you have it. Ooh, this bear is bad. Isn't that? Ooh. 6203 bearing in the front and a 6203 bearing in the back. All right, there you go. So in the next video, um, we're going to be showing you how to change the bearings on this pump, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be putting new bearings on it. And then we're going to put it back together. And we're like, yo, check it out. Look how quiet it is. It sounds like a whisper flow again. All right, so keep on watching. Y'all take it easy. Robert's got to go shut the camera off, and uh, we'll check you in the next video. So all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. This pump requires two 6203 bearings. This is a Pentar Whisper Flow 1.5 horsepower. This is Joseph Tamargo. Thanks for watching. Peace.